Hey guys, Tina and I are at Lake Shawnee, an abandoned music park, and we got our friends with us. Hey guys, Chris is our tour guide and he was fabulous. So thank you. I learned a lot here and maybe he's got a couple words you might want to say. Yeah, I'd just like to tell everybody if you would like to, you can come here and visit Lake Shawnee and I'm sure they'll put the phone number, how to get a hold of us and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we'll be glad to take you on a tour and show you around the property and probably teach you a thing or two while you're here. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a, it's really good. I can't put everything on the uh, video, so you got to come here to really get the scoop. Thank you for visiting. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, after the tour, Chris is allowing us to just walk around the grounds and take as long as we want. So, pretty daggone awesome and pretty daggone spooky at times. Yeah, you can uh, definitely feel the, uh, I don't know if it's evil, it's not evil. It's just a spiritual vibe. It's, uh, this was used this as a haunted house when they were open 
for Halloween. And I would imagine this was one scary little place to be. So there was a uh, on the tour, they were saying uh, there was a gentleman that stayed in this RV for like 14 weeks or something. Do you remember? Uh, 21 days, I think is what he's, 45 days. 45, 45 days. days, okay. <laughs> and so they filmed the show, The Watch, is that what it's called? Yeah. That's what he the said. Watch, so. I've never seen it. I want to say it was maybe on travel or discovery or something, but mm -hmm. we're definitely going to look that up. We'll check it out. Now, the uh, pond which they made for the uh, amusement park there were two people that drowned in this pond and uh, so pretty sad and then uh, we'll go on up here and I'll tell you a little bit about the pool and Chris has a story for you too about the pool in a little bit. So there was a little girl that passed away on while riding the swing, but the swing was not originally in this spot. It was on another side of the lake. Uh, if you want to hear the full story, you'll have to come take the tour. It's very interesting. Uh, so the little girl that did pass away, she's seen around here and on the other parts of the lake. I guess she can go wherever she wants. So this uh, land was occupied by Native Americans, obviously, for many, many years. Uh, they found a burial ground here. 
and I took some pictures of where that was but the first white settler that came through here was uh, Mitchell Clay and he settled right over this way they had a log cabin and Mitchell Clay's kids while he was out hunting uh, got into two of his boys got into a skirmish with some of the Shawnee Indians and so Mitchell Clay's wife uh, she got the rest of the kids and she left to the nearest neighbor which is about five miles away the two boys uh, one was killed and the other was carted off by the Shawnee Indians <clears throat> so on the tour I found out that also Tabitha one of his daughters got killed so I uh, haven't seen that information on any of the websites there's a lot of other information that you will only find if you do this tour so I would suggest come on do the tour spend the night I might do that too but we'll see so Mitchell <clears throat> set out uh, after two of his kids were killed and one of his uh, sons was captured he set out with some other men and they went on a hunt to find the Shawnee that did this. They killed several Shawnee on the way. They actually went all the way from here near Princeton, West Virginia to Chillicothe, Ohio. And during this time, uh, the Shawnees that took Mitchell's son actually burnt him at the stake so a lot of history here from the clay settling here and before that it was a, a native american burial ground shawnee indian burial ground and the motorcycles going by they weren't here at that time they're just here right now Uh, Chris, our tour guide, said that uh, if we wanted to walk down through here, we could, but he wasn't going to. What did he call it? The uh, uh, creepy trail, creepy or? trail, or dark side trail, or whatever. But we will see. So somewhere in here. Somewhere in there was the Mitchell's cabin. <clears throat> okay. And I will say right now, the honeysuckles are beautiful and it smells so good coming through here. Listen to these birds. Now, if you ever watch the Ghost Adventures, um, one thing they always point out is that water is kind of like a portal. And so this could be one of the reasons so, that there's so much spiritual and paranormal activity is that there's so much water in this area you've got a ridge river you got two ponds you've got 
the uh, creek running through so a lot going on here right here is the memorial to Tabitha and Bartley Clay who were killed by the Shawnee Indians right here <clears throat> and uh, sometimes they will say that Elijah will show up because he's not mentioned on the the memorial so anyway I took some pictures we'll see if I get anything and uh, as you remember Elijah was burned at the stake his dad was chasing his captors back to Chillicothe, Ohio. sure what happened to Mitchell Clay and his family um, but the land was purchased somehow or by a Conley Snydow and Conley was the one that got the notion of making the amusement park here so he started working on the amusement park and he built a couple what you would call cement ponds one is a swimming hole and one he used for the paddle boats and things like that uh, and I mentioned earlier there were two people that drowned in the paddle boat lake and there were two people that drowned in the swimming pool of course there may have been others but you might want to come listen to Chris stories about the others so um, 1966 because when the little girl died on the swing and there were a couple drownings and things like that finally uh the place was closed down and it sat pretty much vacant until gaylord white bought the land back in about 1985-86 and we got the the music park back up open for a couple of years from 86 through 88 so and uh, some very interesting stories here. Uh, trying to get some light. So right behind me is the swimming pool, which they called the cement pond. Both of these were cement ponds. And uh, so a couple of people drowned in here. Officially, a couple of people drowned in the lake, which is right here where the paddle boats were. And uh, People would just come, have a good time, enjoy the day. Uh, but there were some other stories, and I encourage you to come. Come check out Shawnee Lake. It's a really good visit. So it's 1966. The mother drops her son off that morning. She returns in time for the lifeguard to blow the 5 o'clock whistle. Her son's nowhere to be found. She thinks that he walked home. She goes to the house. He's not there. She comes back to Lake Shawnee. They found him at 7 p.m. that night in the bottom of the pond with his arm stuck in the drain pipe. Mm -mm -mm. I've enjoyed it. It was a great tour of just history and, and ghost stories. So, come to Shawnee Lake. What do you think, Tina? Yeah, I really enjoyed the tour uh, and the history all behind it. Um, that really captured me. Now, I'm walking up to 
this what do you call those little things that turn in the wind pinwheel pinwheel yeah we're walking up to this pinwheel it's not moving at all right now at all but once you get a little closer let's see oh my god it's like it knows we're visiting Now it just stopped. Now I decide to go again. Can you go really, really fast? Really fast? This is crazy. All right, we're going to leave. Bye bye. Talk to you later. That's the crazy, oh my God, it's speeding up. The wind is blowing a little bit now, so it may, maybe that's why it sped up. Uh, but it, it shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this thing's crazy. Uh, that is crazy. Earlier today, I walked up to, look at this, it stopped. The, the wind's not doing anything different. Bye bye. Talk to you soon. And it's done. We're leaving now. That's the craziest. For me, uh, I've, I've never felt really that scared here but i have felt like a sadness um get a little emotional sometimes standing by the swing as chris was talking earlier mm -hmm. i felt like a lot felt really like I had was having anxiety or something like i was nervous about something and that's that's really to me the pervading feeling is this sadness at times but i don't know yeah and like i would say the same and maybe just a little bit of mystery because you don't know the whole story but you can almost feel the times of mm -hmm. you know yeah. like you were here at that time yeah
poison